Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I last uploaded, so I apologize for this. I just wanted to start off by apologizing for my nasally sounding voice. I am a little sick at the moment, which is why it sounds like that. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why I haven't uploaded for the past few months and kind of just outline what I've been doing for the past few months. You might find this valuable if you're interested in putting yourself out on the internet as well, because it might show you some of the potential barriers you might face when you decide to post videos on YouTube or write blog posts on your own website. Now this video is quite rambly, so I recommend that you watch it at two times speed because I speak pretty slowly as is. All right, so my last video was uploaded on the 8th of January this year. It's funny because when I was setting my intentions for the year, I planned to upload a video every single week for the whole of 2021. And then when it came down to it, as soon as uni started two weeks into the year, I was unable to keep up with making videos, which I'll talk about why in a, you know, it, throughout this video, but I guess it just shows that, you know, you set your intentions for the year or your goals for the year and it's so easy to just fall off the train, particularly early on. Interestingly enough, in the past three and a half months, even though I haven't uploaded a single video, my subscriber count has almost doubled, which just shows the power of the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, this year I'm in my fourth year of university, which is arguably the most important and most difficult year of my particular medical program. The reason being that this is kind of the barrier year, meaning that if you pass your exams this year, you essentially should become a doctor because fifth year there aren't that many exams and um, it's not too difficult to pass as long as you attend all your placements and classes and you know you submit something for your assignments. So far this year I've done a six week rotation in cardiology and general medicine and then another six week placement in psychiatry. My team on cardiology slash general medicine was actually so much fun. My consultant, my registrar and my RMO were all very easy to work with. They were very student focused, very um, happy to teach and just chat about anything in general. And I think one of the advantages of being at a smaller hospital like Tamworth is that you get to become quite close to the different people on your team, even though um, they're quite senior to you. So that was a really you know, good and positive experience that I had. In saying all that though, the hours were long and the workload in medicine in particular is immense. There's just so much content to cover. And so I really fell behind. I probably only covered like one to 3% of the total amount of work that I needed to, just because I just didn't have time to go over the different diseases that you need to know. Um, and so hopefully throughout the year, I'll be able to catch up on that kind of stuff. In contrast, the psych content was not as heavy. I probably got through around 75% of it, but the actual placement itself wasn't as enjoyable as medicine because I didn't get to be as involved as I as I wish I could have been. Funnily enough though, I'm actually considering a career in psych more so than I am a career in medicine. And I guess that's a lot to do with the lifestyle associated with psych. Um, and also the fact that it's interesting. And I think that despite the fact that I didn't have such a, a great experience uh, in, in terms of being a medical student on a psych placement, I think that what I saw from the consultant life it seems quite, um, quite good. And so, you know, it's definitely something that I'm considering in the future. I won't go into all the details here, but if you are interested in hearing more about my placements, all the specialties that I'm considering, please drop a comment down below. So this lack of time is the first reason why I haven't been uploading consistently to YouTube this year. Once other priorities, which were non-negotiable, like medicine got in the way, I, I had to put YouTube on the back seat. On top of the fact that this year is more intense, I've also moved out of home for the first time in my life. I've moved to a small regional town called Tamworth, which is three to three and a half hours northwest of here. It's a really nice town actually, and I'm really enjoying living out of home. Um, I have great housemates. I live with four to five other students, and it is such a great experience, so much fun. I would highly recommend if any of you guys are JMP students who are considering doing a rural year, Tamworth is 100% the place to go. So this brings me on to one of the biggest changes between my last video and now, and that's that over the past few months as I've talked to more people, as the world has opened up a little more and Australia's kind of become less restrictive, I've talked to people from both my cohort and the year below 
um, who have found out about my YouTube channel. And while this has been great because it has definitely contributed to my increase in subscriber count, it's also kind of a weird experience. When a couple of people approached me and told me that they've watched my videos, it caught me completely by surprise and it actually made me cringe a little and feel very self-conscious at the time. And that's quite a weird experience because I know that I should be feeling happy about it because, you know, the word is spreading and every time that somebody has approached me, they've always been very supportive um, and I haven't heard anything negative at all from anyone, which has been really nice. But it also makes me feel kind of guilty or, or bad for having this, this self-conscious feeling because it's just something that's within me. Like if, if somebody had said a criticism, at least it'd give me a reason to, to feel a bit self-conscious, I guess. But they've, everyone's only been supportive, so the onus is completely on me to, um, I guess, process why exactly I'm feeling this way. I think part of the reason why this feeling emerges is because on some of my videos, I have revealed some of my insecurities. And so the relationships that I'm going to have with these people are going to be imbalanced. To put this differently, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I've allowed myself to be vulnerable um, to some extent. And, and people that are approaching me have seen that but they, I haven't received that same level of vulnerability from them. And so there's kind of an imbalance, right, where I have a greater chance of being uh, hurt, which is a weird thing to say, but you know, that's what vulnerability is about. And the other person hasn't really revealed much about them. So like, you know, you guys know a lot about me, but I don't really know anything about you. And that's kind of a strange feeling I know it's something that I'm going to have to get used to because it's part and parcel of making videos and putting them on the internet, um, but it's something that I haven't become accustomed to quite yet. My knee-jerk response when somebody approaches me and talks to me about YouTube is to try and shut the conversation down. But if it is a close friend who's approaching me, because we already have that established relationship, we've both let ourselves be vulnerable around the other. I don't really feel like this tips the scale one way or another and I'm way more happy to talk about YouTube with my close friends. Anyway, so to summarise, the second reason why I haven't been uploading to YouTube for the past few months is because I'm hyper aware of how I'm going to come across to the people I meet in real life. The third reason is because I find it difficult to record videos outside of the protected space of my home. This is something that was evident when I was trying to make vlogs early on. When I was trying to record myself in public, it was very tough to do that and it's something that I'm definitely not comfortable with at all. Living in shared accommodation with relatively thin walls, I know that if I was to record a video inside my room, I would still be overheard by everyone else around the house. While I try to make this end product video sound somewhat polished, the recording process is littered with mistakes. Additionally, because my room in Tamworth is quite small, I don't have space to put up this studio light and hang up this boom arm, which has got the microphone attached. And so, I don't want to compromise on the audio and the visual quality, so, and I know this is actually, you know, pretty much a cop out, but I don't want to record videos in my room at Tamworth for those two reasons. The fourth reason why I've stopped is because I've decided to prioritize other areas of my life. Living on student accommodation confers a large social aspect, and I don't want to deprive myself of this. In 10 years time, I won't really mind that I delayed my YouTube channel by one year, whereas I definitely would regret not hanging out with my friends to the fullest in this year while I have the opportunity to. Even though I did have a plan for what I wanted this year to look like, the unique opportunity to live on student accommodation with friends is too good of an opportunity, so I'm just gonna toss my original plan out the window. Finally, the fifth reason why I stopped uploading videos is because I stopped uploading videos. What I mean by this is that all the momentum I gathered from creating videos somewhat regularly over the past you know, seven months prior to January has all dissipated. If you imagine my YouTube video making process as a flywheel, then when I started in July last year, the, the flywheel was stationary, right? And it required a lot of energy to try and get it moving. Each subsequent video that I made was a little bit easier. And by the time it got to January of this year, it was 
not completely easy, but you know, I had gathered a lot of momentum and it wasn't too difficult to continue making videos. However, over the past few months, the flywheel has just completely ground to a halt. And it's just as Newton's first law states, an object at rest remains at rest unless acted upon by an external force. And that external force is my willpower. And the willpower required to create a video after such a long break was quite immense. But thankfully, over the past week, as I have had some time to think about this, um, I've decided that I, I want to continue. And that was something that I always wanted to do. But now I've found some time to actually get back in the process. And so, yeah, hopefully now I can get into a somewhat more regular routine of creating videos, maybe not necessarily weekly. I, I definitely don't think that's going to be happening but maybe every month or every two months, just so that I can keep the ball rolling until I finish this year, which is the most difficult year, and then I can transition into more regular videos next year. As you have hopefully noticed by now, I don't have much hair at the moment, and that's because I shaved it all off for the World's Greatest Shave. So the World's Greatest Shave is uh, a fundraising event run by the Leukemia Foundation with all the funds going to help support people with blood cancer and their families. If you're interested in helping support them financially, I'll leave a link in the description below that you can click and that will uh, take you to my particular sponsor website um, where 100% of the, that, those funds go directly to the Leukemia Foundation, but you're just inadvertently doing it by sponsoring me and you know pushing me closer towards my goal. So if you could support the Leukemia Foundation through that link, that would be fantastic and I'd greatly appreciate it. If not, and you don't have the financial means to do so, but you are still interested in helping out in some way, consider donating blood or plasma. Thank you so much for your generosity and watching this far. I'll see you in the next one.